government <laughs> advice has reopened, um, and uh, as have all the garden centres, but only in England today. Morning, what are you laughing at? Morning. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten presenter laughing fits on TV. <laughs> Okay, okay, so <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some more times when TV hosts and newsreaders just couldn't keep it together at all. If presenters losing their rag is more your cup of tea, be sure to check out our list of the top 10 times presenters lost it on TV. Number 10, the Accordion Orchestra. Britain's got more talent. Just the slightest thing can ruin a day's filming. On this episode of BGT, an accordion orchestra was greeted by Anton Deck. Only one didn't quite make it out the bus. He tried to do it, we waited for everybody to come off and then he slid down the stairs. <laughs> for whatever reason, Deck got hit right in the funny bone by this and they had to redo the take again and again and again. And then laughed again and again and again. You've got to get the outtakes. Oh, it's a Jimmy Blair recording orchestra. <laughs> Each time produced similar results, that poor bloke will never forget it. <laughs> this is a Jimmy Blair recording orchestra. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew that one happened. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Number 9, a little toot. Good morning, Britain. It happens to the best of us. You move in your rickety chair and oof, fart noise. I think a bit of sunshine, that'd be nicer. Yeah, bit of sunshine. Oh, yeah. right? oh sorry, it's gone again. <laughs> what a time for it to go. Can we lose this? That's what happened in this clip with Richard Arnold, who insists it wasn't his fault. But it's the ruthless banter between him and Ben that truly sets Susanna off. Don't blame the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I think the brass section's just arrived. <laughs> Whether it was a proper Trump or not is anyone's guess, but we're glad it didn't happen to us. <laughs> He's really gone out the door. <laughs> I'm looking too embarrassed. You know, it's surprising how much fun Miss Reed seems to have when Piers is not around. Number 8, Naughty Naughty. This morning. You're never far away from an innuendo on this morning. Earlier in the show, a segment aired where Phil announced that he actually didn't like dunking his biscuits in tea. Shocker. I don't like <laughs> dunking. But this all came full circle when later on he was tucking into a piece of meat and Finn produced this callback. You see, you don't mind dunking a bit of beef, do you? <laughs> 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 From that moment on, the show was in tatters, and the two could barely get through it. <laughs> okay, okay, so <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. Number seven, brain farts. BBC News. It's always funnier when it's one of the most professional blokes in the biz. After a John Boyega interview, this happened to Simon McCoy. John Boyega there talking to, uh, who was he talking to? Colin Patterson, that's right. <laughs> now, <laughs> it's a simple enough mistake, but it must have been repeating in his head over and over because he just couldn't compose himself afterwards. Uh, the spectacular display was captured by photographer and astronomer Matt Robinson in Norway last night. It certainly didn't help that the follow-up news piece was about playing pianos to monkeys. The audience of macaques tugging on his hair, stealing his music, and as you can see, <laughs> climbing all over the piano. He must have been so glad when they finally cut away from him. The weather, Matt Taylor. Number six, don't see that often. Eight out of 10 cats does countdown. Eight out of 10 cats is one of the funniest shows on telly, and it's usually us at home that can't stop belly laughing. However, in this case, when the contestants were trying to raise the stakes, Sean Locke put this up for grabs. I won't spit on you when we have a tonight. <laughs> From that point on, Jimmy is done. Sean's just very kindly offered not to spit on one of our guests. <laughs> Try
try as he might, the phrase absolutely obliterated Carr as he continued to weep laughing even while the contestants had moved on. You know it's a good joke if you manage to swerve Jimmy away from his usual laugh. I've got to get Donald coming. <laughs> Just gone again. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> what I've got to do is try and forget what he said. <laughs> Number 5. Quiz Show This Morning Puzzle Book we take a look at an earlier clip here, where Alison Hammond appeared alongside Zoe Christian on this quiz show, where viewers had to call in and complete the phrase white blank. When one caller said elephant, Alison heard otherwise. Elephant. White elephant. <laughs> While Alison herself soon gets over it, her off-script chatting has a huge effect on poor Zoe, who has to tag out. I'm gonna get a roast dinner as soon as I get home, so I'm really excited, and I've got less than an hour to get it. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you absolutely cannot trust Alison on your TV show. The slightest thing she does can have you laughing for 10 minutes straight. <laughs> Number 4. Get your mind out the gutter. Taskmaster. Sometimes the solutions celebs come up with in this show don't quite work out as planned. After Catherine Parkinson's clip was shown, Greg couldn't help but point out how inappropriate the last shot was. Pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty gross final image, thanks to Catherine. <laughs> mm. <I'm> <laughs> Of course, the more he thinks about it, the funnier it gets for him. <laughs> Does that get him a point? <laughs> Alex Horn seems completely unfazed, but Greg can't seem to get the image out of his head. Who can make the biggest <laughs> <b> <laughs> Poor Catherine, she tried her best. Number three, a bit of a hero, Loose Women. When the Loose Women get chatting, it sometimes leads to a naughty bit of banter like this. When describing what they would do seeing someone in a life or death situation, Jay McDonald comes out with this. Yeah, Special I think situation. everybody's got a bit of a hero in them. If, if there's a crisis, you, you automatically go into... <laughs> <laughs> the innuendo, honestly, isn't the funniest thing ever, but Jane's laugh is so infectious, everyone can't help but join in. Anyway, uh, I've never had a hero in me. Um, yeah. no. <laughs> Come on, ladies. This is supposed to be daytime TV. We've all, we've all, we've all got. <laughs> Number two, Bradley again. The chase. <laughs> Which time you ask? Well, take your pick, because the writers of the questions seem to be doing their damnedest to get Bradley to break his cool. After reading the name of this fictional town, it starts looking like we'll never get through the question. <laughs> Jurassic Park? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Groundhog Day! <laughs> and the contestant doesn't help either, as every time he says Gobbler's Knob, it sets Bradley off again. I've got, I've got no, I've, I've seen Jurassic Park and I've never heard of Cobbler's Knob. I don't know of. <laughs> he may have lost to the chaser, but at least he knows he had a memorable moment on this episode of The Chase. <laughs> Number one, sit down, Holly. This morning. Oh, you knew Holly and Phil would turn up together on this one. The queen of laughing fits, Holly Willoughby, was tasked with reading out some of the most bizarre food combinations the viewing public enjoy. And for whatever reason, this set her off. Amanda <laughs> says, I love red <laughs> cheese and black, <laughs> and black carrots. Of course, her laughter is infectious, and it's not long before Phil is struggling too. You've crossed your legs now. When you cross your legs, I'm done for. <laughs> It all got a bit much for our girl, and she just needed to sit down and take a breather. Bless her. <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? 
Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.